Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. When I first got started in cocktails, for whatever reason, the thing that really kind of got me excited was looking at kind of slightly obscure ingredients. Maybe it was because sometimes I'd have so much trouble finding them when I finally did. It was so exciting and I could make a cocktail with it finally. So when I make cocktails back in those days, I started focusing on using obscure ingredients. One of the ingredients I ran across all the time but never could find was something called peach bitters. Now, Fee's company out of Rochester, New York, finally made a peach bitters. And th so I decided to take and try to make a cocktail that used it since there weren't that many cocktails around. I'd already started making a drink called the Negroni using Aquavit instead of gin and thought that was really good. So I said, let's take that a little bit further. Let's take the Negroni and twist all the ingredients kind of to a slightly obscure side. So instead of gin, let's use Aquavit, which is kind of similar to gin, but harder to find sometimes. Instead of Campari, let's use Chinar, which is similar to Campari, but harder to find. And instead of the sweet vermouth, let's use Sherry, which while relatively easy to find, often isn't found behind the bar for making cocktails with. So we have now a drink that is a variation of a Negroni called the Trident, which is a slightly obscure version. And quite frankly, it's been doing quite well. It's very easy to make. Basically, it's equal parts. So we're going to use an ounce of Aquavit. An ounce of Chinar. Now, if you're not familiar with Chinar, um, and the flavor profile is similar to Campari. It's just not quite as intense. Uh, Campari is a flavor profile that takes a little bit of getting used to. Chinar probably as well, but it's, a, I think, a little bit easier. Um, Chinar actually is, if you look at the bottle here carefully, you can see it's got a picture of an artichoke on it. That's because artichokes are one of the ingredients in Chinar. And if you think about it while you're tasting it, you can actually taste the artichokes in it. And then we're going to use a uh, dry sherry. You can use um, almost any type of dry sherry you want to use. Amontillado also works very well. And then we're going to add a couple dashes of peach bitters. And of course, being all clear ingredients, we're going to stir this rather than shake it. I'm going to strain this into a cocktail glass. And as I try to point out constantly, the reason we're stirring rather than shaking is because the drink ends up being poured into the glass and still remains perfectly clear. Uh, because of both the sherry and the chinar, if I'd shaken this drink, it would have been extremely cloudy right now. Plus, it would have had a foamy head on the top, which really wouldn't look that appealing. The garnish for this is going to be a uh, lemon twist. And again, we're doing that over top of the drink. You can probably see some of the oils coming out of the skin as I'm peeling it which uh, add not just a flavor to the drink, but also add a bit of an aroma to the drink as you bring it up to your lips. So you're getting a couple different ways to enjoy the drink. And there we have the Trident cocktail. Enjoy.